So we're going to palpate the hamstrings group. So there are three muscles here and all of the hamstrings are going to extend the hip and flex the knee. And we're going to start with the biceps femoris. So there's actually two heads of the biceps femoris. You've got your long head that starts from the ischial tuberosity and attaches down here on the head of the fibula. And then you've got the short head, which attaches probably to about the lateral one third of the linea aspera. And it's also gonna travel down and attach on the head of the fibula. Now the superior attachment is going to be found by I'm going to take the heel of my hand and just press very generally here into where the leg meets the glutes and I can feel that prominent tuberosity or the sits bones right there and so that is the superior attachment and the head of the fibula here if I do a, a very light flat hand palpation along the lateral side of the lower leg I can feel that head of the fibula and I can palpate around it, and that is going to be my biceps femoris. Um, and then, so to activate it, I could extend the hip, but the glutes are going to overpower that motion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my partner flex the knee just against minor resistance, and you'll see this whole lateral side of the leg popped up. So right here is going to be, actually I'll bend up more, right here is going to be the, the tendon of that biceps femoris. And underneath the superficial tendon, that is the delineation between the short head of the biceps femoris and the long head. So again, partner, can you flex the knee against my resistance again? Perfect. So I can feel that tendon pop up. I can feel the border where the musculotendinous junction starts. And I can palpate that whole muscle up towards the ischial tuberosity and just relax. Now the biceps femoris also does a couple of other things. It's going to laterally rotate the hip, okay? And also when the knee is in flexion like this, it's going to laterally rotate the flexed knee. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just gently lay my hand along where I know the tendons to be, and I'll just get my partner to rotate the knee back and forth. It's a very small motion. And when he rotates laterally, there, the tendon's gonna pop right up into my hand like that. Next up, we have the semitendinosus. Now, semitendinosus, with it, by its name, you're gonna guess that it's the most tendinous of the three hamstring muscles. It's the longest as well. Like the others, it's going to originate superiorly at the ischial tuberosity up here, right around where the gluteal fold is. And this one's going to travel medially Okay, down the medial and posterior side of the thigh, and it's going to pass over the knee and attach here onto the medial shaft of the tibia at the pes anserine tendon. So I can get my partner to, I'm gonna feel it at, at the ischial tuberosity first, uh, flex your knee against resistance, feel that pop up. Then I'm going to feel this bulky muscle right here and travel down inferiorly, just relax for a second. Perfect. Now I can feel some tendons here and the semitendinosus is the most superficial. So I'll get you again to go flex against resistance. There it is. So that tendon just pops right up there. See that it's pretty thick and I'm going to follow it down to that medial shaft of the tibia. Now the semitendinosus also does medial rotation of the femur. Okay. So when we do that, we can see this tendon pop right up there and you can actually grab it like this and you can feel how superficial it is just like that. So that's the semitendinosus. Our last hamstring is going to be the semimembranosus. I always think membranosus medial, both have M's so it's the most medial of the hamstrings. Um, and it lies just deep to the semitendinosus. So like the others, it's going to attach superiorly at the ischial tuberosity, and it's going to travel down, it's a little wider and flatter, and it's going to travel down to the posterior tibial condyle. So I'll just palpate both condyles with my hands here, and I'll stay on the medial one and just on that posterior side. Now I can feel, if I just gently lay the flat of my hand on these tendons here, on the medial side of the hamstring group, I can feel two tendons. The most superficial is going to be that semitendinosus. And if I roll off of it, I can feel and follow 
the semimembranosus tendon right here. So I'm gonna get my partner to just gently flex against resistance. And these two tendons kind of come together, but I can put a finger in between here and I can feel that this membranosus tendon is a lot deeper. So that's how we would differentiate tendinosus from membranosus underneath.